All right, this is my ingredients. I got cantaloupe, honeydew, pear. The honeydew is kind of covering the pear, but the pear is under there. See the pear? Mm-mm, mm, eat that. And we have mango, and we have apple, and then we have some strawberries. And over here, we got our sour cream. And this is the empty bowl with the hole. <laughs> this is the bowl. And we got tangerine, we got grapes, watermelon, blackberries, coconut, walnuts. These nuts. <laughs> Hot, got it. Almonds and Greek yogurt. This over here is our nemesis. This is our enemy. We don't use this. We use natural fruit. Look at all these natural fruits and nuts and good stuff that you put in your body. That, mm -mm. We, don't, we don't do this right here. We do this. We put it comes from the earth. So now that y'all see my prep work, let me show you what I'm making. It's a brand new day and a brand new sky. And I be that guy, the P-U-D-D-Y. Buddy, you know and what? You are so that I'm corny. is an ambrosia salad. You have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. A wise woman told me that. And I used to find it when I go to certain stores. But lately, I've been having a difficult time finding some ambrosia salad. And when I do find it, it's not a very good one. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make my own ambrosia salad. I've never made this before. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I know what's not gonna happen. I'm not putting this in my ambrosia salad. This grow from the earth. This grow from the earth. This, I don't know how this was birthed, but I know it wasn't from the earth. And it says water, natural flavor. What natural flavor? Is there something from the earth called natural flavor? What natural flavor? It's not specific enough for me. I want to know what I'm putting inside my temple. Alsophane, potassium, what? sucralose. I don't want it. This is not going, so we're going to get this out of here. We don't need it. And if y'all hear a little snoring in the background, that's my dog, Kelly Hayes. He's sleeping on the pillow over here. Y'all hear him snoring? <laughs> Look at his leg jumping. He have a nightmare? You all right, Kelly Hayes? That's my dog. <laughs> and these fruits are good for you. Tangerine is good, and vitamin C, watermelon is good for you. It, it flushes you out. And pineapple, oh my goodness, pineapple help with your sight. And then uh, it's good to put pineapples on pretty girls' lips. <laughs> our hips, who said that? Not me. <laughs> lips are hips. Yeah, it's good to put pineapples there. But before you put the pineapples there, I would say eat a mango. The mango's right here. Why should you eat mango? Because mango is a natural aphrodisiac. Ooh. It stimulates the, the sex and hormones in your body and it gives you endurance. So eat mango and it helps you and you have all type of passion and well, I'm on another subject. I'm talking about fruit salad with my mind drifting off somewhere else. So I'm gonna just get started. I'm gonna throw everything in the bowl and I'm gonna let my wrist take control. Yee! Throw it all in here. I'm going off speculation. Remember that I never made this before. But you have to taste things, and when you taste it, you can kind of tell what they did, and then you, you kind of like originate and make your own creation, because food is like art. Wow. You're expressing yourself through food. So right now I'm doing art for you, and I'm glad that you, um, you are here accompanying me and you can have a delicious treat for yourself at home and your family. So put some of this in here. Mm -hmm. Going down. All this good stuff that come from the earth. So just going to throw it in the bowl. sweetener which is natural blue agave mm. 
Mmm, this looks so delicious. Then I have some Greek yogurt. I use Greek yogurt because it's good for you. Put the whole thing with Greek yogurt. Then I'm gonna stir it and see what happens. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. I'm about to have some ambrosia salad. You have no idea how long I have been waiting to have this. I go to various stores, and nobody has it. But I have it now. At least I think I do. Then I'm gonna add some sour cream to it. Now this is something I make this around the house. It's like an in-between snack or after a workout or something like that. Before a workout. I would leave it like this. But if I was going to a dinner party where it's like a social like gathering or something of that nature, then I wouldn't keep it like this. I would add marshmallow to it. So, it's tasty. It's tasty. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is the business. Do exactly what you just seen me do, and you will get to enjoy this burst of flavor. Oh, oh my goodness. I couldn't even contain myself. I tasted and my taste buds just went happy. Like, like what? This doesn't even taste like the one inside the store. Like, it's, it's an original taste. I kind of like made my own version of ambrosia salad. I'm gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. Cause I, I did that to it and it's kind of rude to put it back in the bowl cause I want other people to be able to have them as well. So I'll be right back. So I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna put it inside this bowl here. Keeping this separate. This is my own personal get down. Put the lid on it and let nobody touch it. <laughs> you know how you go to a party and somebody spiked the punch bowl? But well, I'm gonna spike the ambrosia bowl. With marshmallows! No, tell me it's not so. You're making it so unhealthy, so unhealthy. Yeah, stop all that. Every now and then, it's okay to treat yourself. So this is a treat right here. So you, you can have like things that are not good for you, but not all the time. And be conscious of it when you reward yourself. I'm gonna eat some of this, and when I eat it, it's considered a reward. This is my every day, and this is my every now and then. You have to remember that. I'm trying to stay in shape. I'm gonna move it closer. You gotta have your every day, and you gotta have your every now and then. So I'm gonna add the rest of the marshmallows. It looks good. It looks damn good. Woo! Oh my goodness. I'm about to taste the one with the marshmallows to see if there's a difference. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's an explosion of flavor. That's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of, this is my personal one, so I'm gonna just eat out of there. Mm, mm. I'm so glad that y'all came to hang out with me today and see me make this ambrosia salad. So, enjoy the rest of your day. It's so rude of me to talk with food in my mouth. But this is good, I can't put it down. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember to stay fit. And what I mean by staying fit, you want to stay sharp in all different arenas of your life. Stay fit all the way around. 
Keep your pockets fit. Keep your body fit. Keep your mind fit. Everything is balanced. And an individual, a person, should have balance in their life to be the best person that they can be. Because that's what it's about. Life is about being the best person you can be to yourself. And then once you're the best person you can be to yourself, you can be the best person that you can be to others. And that's what it's really about, is helping others. But help yourself first to be the best you can be so you feel good, you look good, you are good, you attract good people around you, and leave negativity alone, so shake the haters and the busters and suckers and punk motherfuckers, because they bring a lot of ruckus. You know, I don't cuss much. I only cuss when, when I burn myself. That's the only time I cuss. And so when I said punk motherfuckers, it's because a punk motherfucker burned me. <laughs> But you don't make the same mistake twice. Keep moving, stay focused. And what I'm saying is just game. But speaking of game, what is game? What is it? Is a game something you play? That's the definition of game, I believe, is something that you play. And it's kind of hard to define it because trying to define it <clears throat> might make you think that you understand it. And the game is something that you never try to understand. You just learn the rules of the game, you get in where you fit in, and then you play. You gotta get in where you fit in though. You get in when you fit in when you play the game, it's called staying in your lane. So you stay in your lane, that's how you play the game. You get in where you fit in and stay in your lane, that's how you play the game. And I'm going to stay true to that until no remains. I get to talk to good people and they get to hear me and I get to help you all with like recipes. I might say something that inspires somebody, you know, that it might heal somebody. I believe that you can be a healer to people, you know, the Lord works through people. It's mysterious how that it affects you. Deeds, good deeds are channeled through people. That's what I'm trying to do with this. I'm just spreading love and putting good stuff into your body. I'm sharing love through food, because food brings everybody together. It's the universal thing that we do every day. Everybody have to eat. If you don't eat, you starve. If you don't work, you starve too. But if you don't eat, you starve. Food is a beautiful thing. People love food. There's different cultures of food. I like to try a different culture dish next time. Maybe I'll try to make something from a different country. Would y'all like that? Because I'm just experimenting. I experimented with the ambrosia salad. So maybe I can like find different dishes. Or do you have any dishes that are delicious and nutritious but from a different culture? Something that I wouldn't know how to cook. Maybe I could come to you and we get in the kitchen and film it and throw it on, and throw it on the internet. You know, just have a little fun, you know? Or maybe you can come to me and we can make something together, you know? just fun you know it's about interacting with people because people people are to be loved everybody needs love the people who are messed up in this world are the people who didn't get love as a child as an adult as a woman as a man if somebody doesn't get love they have messed with them psychologically people are made to love and when you don't get it that's when corruption happens and when i say love i'm talking about like just unconditional love through family through friends through a significant other all of those are different types of love and you need all three of those loves to make you feel the best person you can be emotionally and then all of that affects it's like a domino effect like when one part of your body is right when I say body I'm talking not, not just the physical your mind your emotions every one part of you is right then it affects the other part. It's like a car. Like you notice on a car, one thing go out, then the other thing go out, and the other thing go out. The body is like that, and the mental, physical, and emotional realm is like that. It's pure balance. So until next time, y'all be easy. I get back with you. It's your buddy Putty. All right, peace.